Africa. Shalawan, this is a part two on a beautiful sunny day in Columbus, Ohio. It's beautiful outside today. We're going to the park. Like we said, it's all nice and peaceful right here. You go down that way, it's just smoking tear gas. Yeah. Fucking yelling and screaming. <laughs> Dad, how could you take that yelling and screaming all day? Whew. You know them cops are going to start getting irritated. They're like, I can't take it no more. Just start pop, 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 pop. Mm -hmm. Oh, I seen a cop pull out a gun in New York last night on some people. He didn't shoot it, but he pulled that bitch out. Mm -hmm. He's like, I'm, I'm ready. And other cops are stopping. like, no, no. Sorry. He's like, I'm going to kill these motherfuckers. They ready to use the real bullets, man. Uh, let's see what other scriptures I can find. What is that one you read? Mm -hmm. uh, that Spirit of Vengeance. What chapter was that from? Is that 39? Yeah. You only read one, huh? Yeah. Uh, there's a lot more to that. Crystal Ray. What is that, 39 and uh. Ooh, uh, that, there is a lot in there. Let's, let's go through some of this. Alright, one sorry, one one moment. No, I don't want to start down here, it's too much. Sorry. I'll be taking forever sometimes. I'll just start at the point we already started at. I'll just name that the video. Okay, the Ecclesiastic is 39 and 28. There be spirits that are created for vengeance. We can walk. You know oh. what I mean? Mm. What's up, mama? Trash. She was worried. Don't worry about us. We're peaceful people. Yeah. We're peaceful. Sorry. The protesters, the rioters, like, we're peaceful people. Sorry. You lying, motherfuckers. Dang. Uh, look. There be spirits that are Ooh. created for... See, we actually are peaceful. It's like it. We ain't never gonna be out there tripping like that. Yeah. Is that a mallard? I don't know what the fuck, duck, some shit. <laughs> it's them for the chilling. Esau would kill it if you seen it. Yeah. He just like to kill it, anything that moves. Mm -hmm. There be spirit, this is Ecclesiastic is a Ciroc 39 and 28. Uh, which way you wanna walk? You wanna walk up through the grass right here? Yeah. Let's go by the little pond. There be spirits that are created for vengeance, which in their fury lay on sore strokes. In a time of destruction, they pour out their force and appease the wrath of him that made them. All right, you can see them spirits of vengeance they downtown. Mm -hmm. Y'all seen the videos. Bro, I was watching the videos like a fiend. You know what I mean? I couldn't stop watching them. This is madness. Mm -hmm. You can't even see all the videos. There's like endless videos of cars driving over people. I was watching a video of a FedEx truck drag this motherfucker miles down the street. Kill you see that one? Nah, I ain't see it. Oh, that shit was, that was, was terrifying. Damn. The best video. Listen to that bitch in the wheelchair. She pulled a knife out of him and they hit her with a fire extinguisher right in her oh. face. <laughs> that Damn. shit was hilarious. Ooh. Oh, y'all want to see some good videos? Go yeah. on my Twitter. Twitter. Shout out. Yeah, uh, so I posted everything I could find. Mm. Oh. Yeah, go on my Twitter. It's, our Twitter account is uh, Kings of the Earth. Kings of the Earth. That's Hashtag. our Twitter. Okay. Yeah, it's just Twitter. You dot com slash Kings of the Earth. Hashtag. I don't. I don't know about them hashtags. But that's how you find a good Columbus video. So like you type in hashtag Columbus protest, hashtag LA protest, hashtag mm -hmm. DC protest. That's how you find all them good videos. What was I about to say though? Oh, you see uh, Ahmadinejad, the former president of uh, Iran. You see what he said? Uh, what's his name? Mohammed Ahmadinejad. He just came out and he quoted a Tupac song. And he was talking about police brutality. And then he quoted the lyrics. He's like, from that song, Changes. And he was like, uh, how does it go? I'm going I'm to bring up the, twi the Twitter. Good luck finding his fucking thing. Uh, I bet you can't spell Ahmadinejad. I mean, how many of y'all on the comic board can spell Ahmadinejad? Sorry. You know, <laughs> Trash. Oh, shit. Y'all can't spell that. You know, it takes forever to look something up on him. Sorry. He'd be spending an hour trying to figure out how to spell his damn name. D. Hold up, I got it, though. I'm about to read it if I can find I got it real quick. I, got, I posted it. Oh, here it is. I don't want to mess up his quote. I want to get the full quote out. 
This is the four. Hey, I remember yeah. brothers said before that this dude might even be a Jake. You know what I mean? Scotty. Akhmadima Josh. Look, Iran's former president quotes Tupac. Pull the trigger, kill a nigga, he's a hero. Mm -hmm. Over George Floyd's death. So he listening to Tupac. Scotty. That's crazy, ain't it? That's how, oh, that's how you who the real Israelites are. The Israelites are really the most influential people on the earth. Mm -hmm. You know, everything good about America comes from who? From the Israelites. All the music, the culture, mm -hmm. the fashion. What's the most popular shoes that everybody wears? The Jordans, right? Mm -hmm. Even the Edomites wear Jordans. Okay, everybody wears Jordans. And that, who's Michael Jordan? He's an he's a, he's a Israelite. So Israel, really Israel has the greatest influence on the planet Earth, you know, spiritually speaking, than anybody else. Uh, what else did he say? He said, he said the scheme of the world powers is to cause disunity in order to, to keep all societies under control. The killing of George Floyd was deeply disturbing and upsetting and is the result of the current world order which we all must unite against. And that's what he said. Sorry. That's what it is. They divide the people. We can walk. I'm gonna walk. Can we stay still. We gotta keep on the move. They tracking us. <laughs> so that's crazy. So you, you got all these. Other, you get so America's the laughing stock of the world right now. Everybody look at America like, like the cops and shit. Like they're the devil. You know what I'm saying? It's unbelievable. The, what's the word I'm looking for? The other nations of the world. They appalled how America treats its citizens and how they treat so-called black people. Mm -hmm. The rest of the world is disgusted at it. And here it is, America try to act like they the most righteous kingdom. This is a bastion of hope and liberty. This is the land of freedom. <laughs> What's that song? Mm -hmm. Oh, America the Beautiful. Mm -hmm. You hear me singing my Ray Charles voice. Trash. Oh, hey. America. How's it go? I forgot how that bullshit went. Sorry. That's good. Oh, beautiful for special skies. Yeah. So you just get chemtrails in the skies now. The amber waves of grain. That's all some bullshit, man. Purple mountains, majesty. Where do you see any of that bullshit? That's some fairy tale shit. Mm -hmm. So they use them songs and shit to brainwash you. They get the national anthem. Sounds all beautiful. Y'all be standing up. Proud saluting. People motherfuckers saluting. Mm -hmm. You ever go to a baseball game, motherfuckers start saluting? Oh, yeah. Like, what was wrong with this guy? He over here saluting and shit. Yeah. <laughs> this is goofy. Uh, let me keep going. I'm going to read that one more time. That's such a good scripture. Okay, this is really what we're dealing with. Ecclesiastes uh, 39 and 28. They be spirits that are created for vengeance, which in their fury lay on sore strokes. That's a sore stroke that America just got hit with. You, saw them, you see goddamn Washington, D.C.? The Capitol building spray painted all over that bitch. Mm. They burning down fucking 200 year old churches and historical monuments. They tearing down statues. Mm. I don't know. I seen the statue got tore down in D.C. Was did they tear down the Albert Pike statue? I couldn't confirm what statue it was. There's so much shit coming out. You can't even confirm it all. Mm -hmm. Even so, half the time you don't even know what video, what city it's in. I know they, they defacing it. Oh, they defaced the hell out of the state house. You see that? You know them statues of the state house? Yeah. They spray painted a fuck 12 all over that shit. <laughs> you know, they Sorry. desecrated all the monuments. Sorry. They needed, uh, well, it's all going to be the, oh, shit. Get that on camera. Holy fucking shit. Bro, look, these buildings, they just built these. They just finished them. Now look at them. And we know that was probably the answer for it. It might have been the cops themselves that did it. Because you know that was not Jake that did that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. All them people out here spray painting and catching shit on fire is mostly Edomites. You might have some Jake to do it because they'll just, they found a multitude of evil to do sin. You know what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. they'll do it too. They'll, but I guarantee that was an Edomite that did that. What the fuck? They just built that. Sorry. That's going to take them, they've been out here because... You know, I do work down here, so I see this shit all the time. It took them years to build this shit. <laughs> took them, they've been out here for the past few years building this bullshit. So now, Trash. <laughs> God damn, bro, this shit is true. That's America. This, what's that song? This is America. Yeah. This is America.
trash. This is America. Should have got that motherfucker. What's that? Ain't nothing but glass right there. Oh, they gonna mess with the library. <laughs> they get their free movies and shit. Hey. Garbage. No, they fucking salty. Damn it. Did they mess with this one too? They said they was building. Damn, they burned all the I don't see this shit letting, letting up no time soon either. Yeah. Really, the fire department, y'all pissing against the wind. <laughs> they gonna set that bitch right back on fire. Yeah. Damn. True. Oh, I seen they started, uh, uh, rioters, they were attacking the fucking fire department. You see that shit? <laughs> like, goddamn, they trying to put the fire out. Right, like, yeah. I, you ever see the fireman come and beat someone's ass? No. I bet they have, though. They just ain't, just ain't get reported. Is that a news person? Nigga over there taking pictures and shit. Fuck you. The news be hiding shit. Like, oh, you know, they, I heard they just jamming people's live streams downtown. You get late, deep into the protest. Yeah. They start jamming people's uh, cell phone signals. Sorry. And then the only live feed you'll be able to find is from, like, uh, you know, Fox, ABC. And then when it gets to the thick of the action, when they're about to clear the protesters out, yeah. they're like, they won't put the camera right on the action. They're, they're like working with the police. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Where the hell we at? They got the shit closed off. I remember, didn't the boy Trump said something about the media? He gonna make some bills or some shit? Or whatever the fuck. He's talking about he passed that executive order about social media. Yeah. Somebody like you're supposed to have freedom of speech. Oh, or whatever. Trash. That shit gonna be you don't taken know how away. true that is. You have to look at the fine print. You can't really listen to what he says. You gotta re actually read the order to see what yeah. it actually says. Because you know they'll tell you it means one thing on the news, but when you read it, it says something else. Yeah. 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 Oh, shit. This is water drink that you I guess. Oh. Yeah. We on the outskirts of Ground Zero. Sorry. Hey, you see the most I ain't want to go there. We cast some lots. Yeah. Uh -huh. Let me get this. I'm going to read that scripture one more time. This, uh, you know what I mean? Every spirit of the creator for vengeance, which in their fury lay on sore strokes. In the time of destruction, they pour out their force and appease the wrath of him that made them. So the most high got great wrath against America. The most high hates this country. I always said uh, Amos 9 and 8. It said, the eyes of the Lord are upon the sinful kingdom, and I will utterly destroy it from off the face of the earth. So the Most High's eyes is on this kingdom. He, you know, it's a sinful kingdom. Really? He hates us. That's why he, that's why the Lord allowed this. Because anything that is, the, <laughs> anything that is, is because the Lord willed it. You know what I'm saying? Is that uh, dust for violence? What's that? The dust for violence. Oh, yeah, dust for violence. Yeah. Uh, uh, Babylon should fall or something like that. Yep. You know, there's nothing but violence going on right now. Everywhere. So that's the spirit of the Lord, bro. Because he hates he hates this place. That's why he's allowing it to happen. Mm -hmm. If the Lord loved America, if the Lord's blessings was upon America, it'd be peaceful out here. Mm -hmm. It'd be literally, the streets would literally be paved with gold. You know what I mean? People be happy, joyous. You know what I mean? Everybody be living good. There won't be no whores. There won't be no cops beating the shit out of people. You know what I'm saying? But the Lord's blessings ain't on this on this place, man. The Lord putting a curse on this place. What's this? Uh, fire and hell and famine and death. Oh, you got these fools. They burning out grocery stores and uh, fast food restaurants. It's like, why are y'all going to eat now? But then again, at the same time, we know that a lot of that's some Edomites doing that. You know what I mean? Where y'all going to eat? Y'all burning out grocery stores? There's already a meat shortage. I don't even eat meat. I remember my mom, she said she just went to the store. Almost all the meat was gone. Plus, you know, because of the coronavirus shit, there's a, a meat shortage. You know what I'm saying? There's already a food shortage. So there's going to be a great famine out here. That's going to make people even riot even more. Oh, hell yeah. Especially food. if you got no food. That's, that's going to be worse than a riot. Yeah. That's going to be terrifying. Yeah, people that's, get hungry. Yeah, that's when motherfuckers gonna start killing. They say a hungry killing, dog killing. is an angry dog. Yep. People gonna start uh, robbing the fucking trucks that's delivering food. Shit, they've, they've already robbing the trucks. So the semi trucks, are, yeah. they'll get in front of semi trucks on them riots and just start uh, empty out the backs of them. Yeah. That's when them uh, 
like in like South America, like the little Latin countries, or whatever. Gangs that be uh, they be robbing shit, so they can take over that shit. So if you need some food, you got to come through me, type of shit. Oh, it's getting like that. Cause I just read an article this morning. They said in Caracas, or Car how do you say that? Is it Caracas? Car I don't know how to say. Mm -hmm. it. You know that big city in Venezuela. But they said you, to get uh to get a tank of gasoline. It, you have to bribe somebody like a hundred bucks or something just to fill up, fill up your tank of gas. Sorry. Because they, they got a food shortage, gas shortage, everything. Mm -hmm. That shit gonna come up here. You know how gasoline gonna be so valuable? Food, ramen noodles, bro. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be like gold out here. So you already can't get certain shit at the stores because of the fucking corona. I haven't seen peroxide. In the stores for fucking been at least three months. Oh, you look at that scripture up. It says, uh, it's probably like lack of bread. It'll probably pop up. I know it's in the, uh, Ezra. I think it's Ezra's 15. Something, something, lack of bread or whatever. Second Ezra's, uh, 15 and 19. A man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, mm. but shall destroy their houses with the sword and spoil their goods because of the lack of bread and for great tribulation. What was that movie? Uh, what the fuck is that movie? Uh, The Road. Was it The Road? Yeah, no. The Road. That movie's gruesome, bro. Hold on. I don't think. No, the, the one I'm thinking about. It's, that's that's The Road, not the one I'm talking about. Oh, that that's a good movie too. But yeah. it's just one. I think it's a show. I think it's called Revolution or some shit. The niggas. Uh, or it might be. Actually, it might be The Road. Okay, wait, wait. It's like the one scene in the beginning where the father and the mother had a little daughter, and then somebody came up and they had food, like a wagon of food or some shit, and they try to do try to rob them. I don't know. And then, uh, yeah, that must be from a different show then. But dude tried to rob him and shit, and he seen that, you know, the, 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 the couple had a little little child or whatever, but he didn't give a fuck. You know what I'm saying? He still tried to rob him for the food and shit. He had no pity. You know what I'm saying? And then, you know, they did some bullshit. They had, because the dude, he was too scared to shoot him, so the girl shot him or whatever, some gay ass shit. But still, the point still stands that people ain't going to give a fuck if you got kids. They ain't going to give a fuck if you got a woman. They're going to kill you. Like them, too, just so they can eat. You know what I'm saying? They don't give two fucks. Because the motherfuckers, hey, right now, I mean, this is this is bad enough. You Cops killing niggas, whatever, that's bad enough. But how much more when your food get taken away, your water get taken away, and all your little your little rights get taken away? This what shit about, through. What about this one? Let's walk, let's walk this way. What about this one? Second Ezra 15 and 57. Thy children shall die of hunger. And thou shalt fall through the sword, thy city shall be broken down, and mm -hmm. all all thine shall perish with the sword in the field. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, then people, they're they going to keep fighting with the cops and shit. Mm -hmm. They're not doing that in the name of the Lord. Mm -hmm. I remember how uh, the Lord told the Israelites when they was going out in the battle. He said, if the Lord is not with you, you should, will surely be destroyed. But mm -hmm. if the Lord is with you, you you know what I'm saying, you're going you gonna to triumph. But the Lord ain't with these people, man. And they're not coming in the name of the Lord. They don't even know the name of the Lord. They're not mm -hmm. coming in the name of the Lord. The, the, the whole thing they're doing is not about the Lord and his ways and his commandments. So they're not going to succeed. Mm -hmm. So the, 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 the end of them, of two-thirds, is thy children shall die of hunger, and thou shalt fall through the sword. Thy city shall be broken down. And really, all your cities is getting broken down. This is going to hurt y'all more than it's going to hurt Esau. All thy city shall be broken down, and all thine shall perish with the sword in the field. They that be in the mountain shall die of hunger, and eat their own flesh, and drink their own blood. Damn! Mm -hmm. For very hunger of bread and thirst of water. Thou as unhappy shall come through the sea, and receive plagues again. Oh, shit. <laughs> and in the passage they shall run, rush on the... Listen to this. And in the passage, they shall rush on the idle city and shall destroy some portion of thy land and consume part of thy glory and shall return to Babylon that was destroyed. Mm -hmm. well, that's the point on that, though, I guess. This whole 15th chapter got a lot if you skip around. Right. It's so long. Yeah. Oh, look, what about this one? Oh, shit. I don't even know where to start. But eventually, this place is going to be destroyed by nuclear fire anyway. America is going to be destroyed. Y'all crying about buildings getting burned down. This whole motherfucking country is going to get burned down mm -hmm. by the Lord.
Look. Ted, you want to read the whole thing. All right. I'm going to start at 2 Ezra 15 and 35. They shall smite one another, and they shall smite down a great multitude of stars upon the earth, even their own star, and blood sh shall be from the sword unto the belly. Ooh. And dung of men unto the camels howl. Pretty much saying people can play shit or something. What's a camel's? Oh, that's a hoof. Is that how you spell hoof? It spells hoof. H-O-U-G-H. That's what it means, hoof. Sorry. So get that on camera. It's just burning and smoldering and smoking. Damn. Zoom in on that fucking that water pouring out for that door. Like, what the fuck? Sorry. Yeah. Oh, this shit is through. This is America is through. They don't burn this whole bitch to the ground. Fuck out of here. Like I said, we prophesied this through the spirit of the Lord. He yes, told y'all this shit was coming, man. He boy chilling too. He didn't give it. It's probably it's probably beautiful to him. <laughs> Just think about uh, like the homeless Jakes. They probably loving this shit. Cause they hate this. You know, is that still going? Yeah. You know the homeless people. They're really, they homeless because this place made them crazy, and they can't function in this world. They, you know, now a lot of, well, a lot of them are schizos because the world made them like that. I was wondering what the fuck this shit was. This is that shit burning from the. Uh, that shit. That was is all, that char? It's all throughout the park. I was oh, stepping shit. on that shit. What the fuck is that? This shit? is raining char out here. Some charcoal. Yeah. That was beautiful. Ashes, the ashes, bitches. Sorry. Smoldering mess. Bam. Ain't gonna be nothing left of the smoking and ashes. Mm -hmm. Wait till the ultimate destruction comes. What about the Russians? Hey, people forgot about Russia. I mean, there's been stories you see about how uh, the Russians intercepted some U.S. planes. Oh yeah. They've been intercepting each other's planes a lot lately. Yeah. Damn, this shit's smoky over here. Hey, get that shit on camera. That's a nice. That's a nice image. Like a cameraman, like official now, boy. I, know. I tell you, this is just the outskirts. We ain't go deep up in it. Oh, it's just the boys right there. You said the boys? Yeah, they're right there lurking. He's just sitting there uh, directing traffic and shit. Trash. <laughs> oh man. Oops, I'm not supposed to cross my back. But yeah, it's beautiful, man. It's beautiful. Fucking judgment, boy. Judgment. Oh, you know, there's a lot of talk too about a lot of these, uh, a lot of these writers might even be set up by the Russians to uh, help cause instability in America. <laughs> what the hell? Now, you can't rule that shit out. You know what I mean? These motherfuckers are smart, bro. Yeah. The way they invade each other's countries, they want to cause uh, social disorder in their enemy's country through psychology and shit. Sorry. They, they, you best believe they do that. There's all kind of everybody. They made a TV show out of. I forget what it's called. There was a TV show that came out a few years back, and the whole show was about Russian sleeper cells. Oh. But they had Russian spies that come to America, but they're, they're raised as Americans, and English is their first language, not Russian. Oh. So, you know, they look like Americans, talk like Americans, but they're really Russians. So this is a little truth to that, but that's good, though. All kind of, there's all kind of shit that going, undercover shit going on out here, on all kind of different sides. Yeah. Look at that secret council, the wicked. Oh, yeah, that's, man. What's that? Boy, that's when we get that one. The boy Esau is trying to set us up, boy. I tell you, man. Like we were saying earlier, the motherfucking literally videos, the, it was like cops literally destroying their own fucking cop car and then putting spray paint, fuck 12. And, man, that's what I'm saying. Jake and them niggas are trying to talk like Jake and shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to make it all. See, look at these, look at these niggas out here uh, rioting. Now, like I said, like I said, people at work, people, like white people at work, they, they, uh, they, they, you can tell, you can see it in their voice that they hate niggas because they out there rioting and shit. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it's like, I understand them, but then again, they're wrong, but still, it's like. Like I said, a lot of these cop cars that they catch it on fire, it just looks to me like they're leaving them out there on purpose just so they can get a hold of them. Yeah. And just so they can let you burn them. Yeah. That shit, come on, bro. They gonna, they, they really gonna let a whole line of like ten cop cars get burned up. 
Yeah. Like y'all really that stupid? You couldn't get your cars out the way before they got them. Yeah, they got a whole thing. They got a thing with the whole like. A, remember that? It was like a fucking uh, mountain of fucking bricks. Yeah. Oh yeah, like they leave a just... giant pallet of bricks in all the city. They had a pallet of bricks out here in Columbus. Yeah. yeah. It's like, it was like, who the fuck left these bricks out here? Mm-hmm. And you, and you dumbass Jakes is still gonna be over there marching. Oh, Black Lives Matter and these bricks right here. You got your ass set up. That is stupid. A you know, and even even the niggas that's not even the niggas that's being peaceful, you still it don't matter. Esau, it's Esau. You look you look violent no matter if you peaceful or not. You, you know what I'm saying? It's not just one. It's not just all. Oh, here's the Hebrews. Like here's the here's the Muslims. Nah, nigga, you so called black or Latino Native American. You all in one bunch and they still hate you. And re the reason too because the Edomites they're so scared of uh, Jake is because Jake's stronger than Esau and beat his ass. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's a real fear. He know he knows he'll get his ass be beaten in a fair fight. Yeah. You know what I mean? There's, I've seen all kind of videos of Edomites getting knocked out. Sorry. Just you know one punch. Shit, them cops, them cops be getting their ass beat. Yeah. They, 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 get, they be getting folded. Yeah. And what, they, what, they, what they want them to say? They be like, oh, uh, you ain't shit with that badge. And it's, true, it's proven to be uh, true. Oh, I remember that one. It wasn't a riot video, but from the coronavirus video, the brothers was out there playing basketball, and the cops came and stopped them. Yeah. And he was like, what about the white boys playing tennis? And he, he just he hit the cops with like a 10-piece and took off running. <laughs> what the hell? They want to have that. He got so mad in his spirit, bro, he couldn't contain it. He had a, he had a piece him up. Damn, ten piece, god hit, damn! Man, I don't know what kind of pizza we hit him with all the pieces. A four piece nugget. Yeah, I don't know damn. what he got hit. We hit him with a combo. It looked like he was trained. Damn. He just let loose on him. You can see the spirit that had him jumped on him. Yeah. Spirit. He just let loose on it. That cop was feeling salty as fuck. That video went viral. Yeah, I'd have been salty. He been salty as fuck. All right, turn I mean, my back. I seen plenty of videos of cops getting knocked out. Y'all, you see that video the cop threw the dude's phone? No. And the dude just. Just cracked him, just cold. He cop was sleeping. Sorry. Was that uh, it's not regarded kings? Oh yep. This is a beautiful ass neighborhood. What the fuck? I know this is a little you know what I mean? back in the cut, right on the outskirts yeah. of downtown. The trees and yeah, damn. It's an Esau hideout. But yeah, this shit gonna this shit gonna be tough too, cause you know you got Jake over there destroying downtown and their own neighborhoods and shit. No, I see. Gonna... The anti forgot just got uh. The main Antifa Twitter page just got taken down because they made a post and told all the Antifa operators or whatever to go to start going to the rich white people neighborhoods. Saudi. They said the hell with it. We're going to the rich white people neighborhoods. We're going to the suburbs. Saudi. Yeah, they got that Twitter account, the leader for that. They hit the call already went out. <laughs> Shit. Actually, that became big news. Now more people is even aware of it now than before. Saudi. Just because it made the news. I was about to read this though, that Psalm 64. It says, Hear my voice, O power, in my prayer. Preserve my life. Oh, this, this is it right here. Look. Preserve my life from the fear of the enemy. And it really, that's what a lot of the peaceful protesters are doing. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? But they, they because they're afraid of the enemy. Mm -hmm. that, that's why this whole shit started. With people are afraid of the enemy. You're afraid of the cops. If the cops are supposed to be public servants, you ain't supposed to be afraid of them. You should be happy to see them, right? Mm -hmm. But how you guys, how you doing today? You know, it's not like cops are out here fighting crime like Spider-Man and shit. All noble, they're all noble servants, mm -hmm. you know, like, <laughs> that's some fantasy shit. It's, they're fucking assholes. They, they, they're there to beat, beat you to pieces with that continual stroke. Mm -hmm. Uh says, hear my voice, O God, in my prayer. Preserve my life from fear of the enemy. Hide me from the secret counsel of the wicked, from the insurrection of the workers of iniquity. Right, so we praying to the Lord, he uh, hide us from that secret counsel. I uh, we said the secret counsel, that go back to you know, the secret societies. That's what's really controlling shit. And you got goddamn Freemasons and all that. How come they ain't burn down the Freemason Temple? There's one on 3rd Street downtown. Oh, we should go look at that. That's a little too close, though. You want to go down there? <laughs> nah. That's actually Hell a that. long walk, shit. Yeah, fuck that. We was just right over there. We should have been looked at it. Yeah, there's Freemason Temples everywhere. Oh, and the cops are yeah. Freemasonic. Yeah. You got something called a fraternal order of the police. 
You know what I'm saying? The cops are all part of these secret societies. They got their own uh, fraternal, they call it a fraternal order. It's called an order. When something's called an order, you know that it's like a secret club. You can't, not anybody can get into an order. You know what I'm saying? They're doing secret shit in there. They're conspiring against you in secret. And that's why a lot of times when the cops kill people, they don't get in trouble. They got the police unions and the fraternal order and everybody covering up for each other. They got the police code of silence. You know? And the cops ain't never going to rat on another cop. Because if he does, he'll get fucked up. They'll fuck you up. If you're a cop and you rat on another cop, they might set you up, might kill you, fire you, or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Say, so hide me from the secret council of the wicked, from the insurrection of the workers of iniquity. Who wet their tongue like a sword and bend their bows to shoot their arrows, even bitter words. And that's what they do. When they word the pop words of the politicians, all the words of uh, Governor Mike DeWine, like during the coronavirus shit. Just constantly lying to the people, deceiving the people. They, they talk about, oh, we're here for your safety. That's what the devil said, we're here for your safety. Is that what they told the Native Americans? They was here for their safety? <laughs> Shit. It's all smoky and shit. Sorry. Get that shot right there. All the satanic ass shit. What's that battery looking like? It's probably full. Oh, for real? Yeah. And they may shoot in secret at the perfect. Well, who's the perfect? Is the elected Israel? That's the perfect. Yep. And like you saying, they probably they probably want if they see us out there teaching with our garments on and Mr. Protest, they gonna fucking shoot us. Yeah. They, they we all got target. They be like, oh, that's them motherfuckers. Let's get them. Yeah. Cause you know the cops is all racist and they know what's going on. They know who the Hebrew Israelites are. That's their perfect opportunity to fuck us up. They encourage themselves in an evil matter. They commune of laying snares privily that they shall say, who shall see them? Ain't that what a cop literally does? That cop literally hides in secret, like just in everyday life, bro. When you driving down the street, you got you got a cop hiding in the fucking bushes. They call it a speed trap. They, they That's what they call it. They can set up a speed trap where they, they, pretty much they jump out on you and take your money. They jump out on you, pull a gun on you, threaten you with violence if you don't pay this money. What they call it, a ticket, a citation. No, that, that's called robbery. They get try to give new words. That's called a euphemism, a ticket. No, that's not a ticket, that's theft. So they encourage themselves in an evil matter. They commune of laying snares privily. They say, who shall see them? They search out iniquities. They accomplish the diligent service. Both the inward thought of every one of them and their heart is deep. But the Most High shall shoot at them with the arrow. Suddenly shall they be wounded. Oh, the Most High gonna shoot America with that arrow. Is your boy still over there? I hope not. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, you talked to boy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> He's something else. Yeah. I'll tell you what. It says, uh... Yeah, but the most high should shoot them with an arrow. Suddenly they shall be wounded. Like eventually, like I said, the, the kingdom of Esau is going to be destroyed. That's spirit. You're talking about the secret society shit. Your boy got the owl right there. Oh, shit. Oh, I think they use those to keep away birds. Yeah. Because yeah. that's the spirit, though. That's the, one of those symbols and shit. The owl of Athena. Yeah. Hey, you go downtown, you see the owl of Athena everywhere. Mm -hmm. The owl of Athena, that's a common symbol. A lot of frat houses use it, too. Uh, oh, you're, what's your boy Drake? Mm -hmm. He uses that owl symbol, the Illuminati. Sorry. You ain't know Drake, he's got that, uh, what's it called? I forget what his fucking thing's called, owl something. Drake symbol is an owl. It looks, it's the owl of Athena. Illuminati symbol. I'm telling you, he done sold out. Mm -hmm. He got the, uh, the Air Forces, or I think it might, it might be ones. Where he got the owl on it. They're like expensive as fuck. Uh, 
Uh, this is Psalm 64 and 8. So they shall make their own tongue to fall upon themselves. All that see them shall flee away. Hey, Esau's own tongue's falling upon himself. He's saying he loves us. He cares about us. You know what I'm saying? Oh, we're here for your safety. People ain't believing that shit no more. His own tongue's falling upon himself. That's why everybody's rioting and protesting. Hey, they just pouring that water out on that thing. Stitch on himself. See that shit? Yeah, one Esau for it, one Esau against it. Oh, yeah, everybody's against each other. Yeah. And your boy Trump really ain't came out and said shit the past few days. Yeah, the only thing I hear about he said was they looting, he shooting or some shit. That like was that. like days ago, but he ain't really said nothing. He had designated Antifa as terrorist. Yeah. But I ain't heard shit since. They said he hiding in his bunker. Yeah. Uh, he probably don't even give a fuck. Who knows? Unless he got a surprise. Yeah, that tells you how much they, he They want to kill him because you know the left want to kill him. <laughs> They ever, they, he's probably scared. He's like, oh shit. Because you know, this shit was set up, the protest and shit set up. It's really, they are starting a civil war. That's why a lot of reporters say, you know, this is the start of an, a civil war. This shit ain't gonna stop. Because you got two main opposing factions who fucking hate each other and they will never agree. You know what I'm saying? If you can't be in an agreement, your kingdom ain't gonna last. Oh. What is that? Man, if the he Satan be divided against Satan, how shall his kingdom stand? Yeah. You got Satan divided against Satan. Yeah. The left against the right, because the left and the white, right, that's the two wings of the same eagle. But they divided against each other. How that eagle gonna fly? <laughs> Eight wings all twisted up and shit. Sorry. He's just falling out of the sky by the crack on the pavement. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Man, I gotta give me some water. You need a water? No, I'm good. Uh, two agree, they stay. I can two walk together, they stay. Agree. I brought like a bunch of waters just in case so I didn't sweat my ass off. So wearing a fucking hoodie. Dude, why the hell are you wearing a hoodie? <laughs> what the hell? No, I felt the breeze earlier. It is hot. It is oh, hot, good man. buddy. I like that heat. That heat feels good. That heat. It's good to sweat. Alright, let me read the rest of this. Psalm 64 and 9, and all men shall fear and shall, shall declare the work of the Most High, for they shall wisely consider of his doing. Oh, soon that's going to happen. Mm -hmm. They're going to see that this is the Most High. Oh, what's the scripture? Every uh, knee shall bow. Huh? Oh, big Antifa looking head ass. Sorry. Fucking Antifa faggots everywhere. Oh, they hear me say that to come after us, won't they? Sorry. The Lord gonna protect us. But them Antifa, bro, they're set up by Esau. They really out there just to make Jake look worse, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. well, we got that shit on video, bro. Mm -hmm. uh, 64 and 10. The righteous shall be glad yeah, in your power. Huh? I want to get out the <laughs> uh, table. It's gonna be. It's gonna, yeah. You're gonna run me over. I was one of the protesters. Sorry. Bro, so many people getting ran over. Yeah. Like, why would you just stand in front of a car? Like, you're terrifying these people. Yeah. You're terrifying it. And then they run you over. And you're like, why'd you run me over? Like, motherfucker, what you think was going to happen? You scared the shit out of these Edomites. They're going to run you over. That nigga looks stressed out, boy. Oh, shit. You know, they, they just want to go home. Yeah. You know, they can't. I go home. I just want to go home. I don't want to be this bullshit. Yeah. I've had a lot of cops are like that too. I see you see the cops get frustrated, bro. Sorry. They really just want to let loose and start shooting and end it. Now the cops gonna get fucked up too. There's gonna come a day when all the cops they gonna put down their badges. And they be like, fuck this, I'm up out of here. Mm -hmm. It's gonna get so bad, you know, like in Louisiana. That happened during the floods in Louisiana during the Hurricane Katrina. The cops was like, nah, bro, I'm good. Y'all can have this shit. Mm -hmm. Really, I'm really a lot of them cops is just there for that paycheck. And you got a lot of Jakes on the police force. Well, I seen this one Jake. He got up in this uh, national, this uh, Judite's face. He was part of the National Guard sitting there, and dude was getting up in his face. He's like, you a bitch. He's like, you don't shoot till your daddy tell you to shoot. 
So you don't load, you know what I mean? Sorry. He's just calling him a bitch. This shit was hilarious. But look, this is Psalm 64 and 10. The righteous shall be glad in Yahweh and shall trust in him and all the upright in heart shall glory. Hey, all the righteous shall be glad in Yahweh. These fools ain't coming in the name of the Lord. That's why this shit is not going to prosper. Did we already read that 1 Corinthians 1 and 10? Mm -mm. We never read that, did we? Mm -mm. Let me read that right quick. Man, my phone acting weird, bro. I type in one. Oh, it must have some hotkeys on or something. It's fucking me up. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. My fault. I should just write a real Bible with me. How about that? Oh, the band had the scripture. Yeah. <laughs> I shit came see it. What's up? I was trying to read that, that uh, homos. <laughs> uh, God's love is for God's all love people. It's for all people. Is that true? It's pretty gay. Romans 9. <laughs> That's actually gay. <laughs> gay means happy, though. I remember, uh, yeah, Pastor Stephen Anderson, he did a video. He's like, yeah. gay means happy. There's nothing happy about being a fucking faggot or something like that. Damn. He's like, you goddamn faggots. Sorry. I would like to watch Pastor Stephen Anderson's videos, bro. He'd be happy dying and laughing. Yes, he is. Goddamn. I've been battling with him since the, like 2010. Damn. A lot of shit he says is right. He was made a video on the protesters. He's like, they should be shot. I got the scripture. <laughs> he put pro out the scripture, said they should be put to death. I hear him yelling, yo. Oh, shit. They must have getting close. They down. What the fuck they at? I heard that shit. They probably is getting close. They be going up and down the street all day. I'm gonna get that Corinthians. Yeah, some damn eating mice right there. Like they about to fuck some shit up. What, like, some Antifa? I don't know. The crackers. Uh, oh, yeah, you gotta watch them. Oh, no, you know the Antifa wear face masks and shit. Yeah. They dress in all black. Wear face masks, they, you know what I mean? They about to go protest, protest for the black rights. Black people. What the hell is she wearing? This is beautiful, though. The Lord is setting the nations against each other. Uh, race wars and shit with that. Uh, nation for rise against nation. That, that, he said he's going to set the, what's that, Isaiah 19? He's going to set the Egyptian against the Egyptian. Yep. You got some white people out here protesting. You got some white people saying, fuck you niggers. This is, you got the all lives matter people. Versus, yeah. You pretty much got black lives matter versus all lives matter. Yeah. But the all lives matter, they don't give a fuck about you niggas neither. The all lives matter, that's... If they hear you say that, you're getting stomped to death. Yeah. That's how they take that shit serious out here. Cause like, a lot of older folks, they don't know. They're just like, well, don't all lives matter? I'm like, I told my mom, I was like, do not say that. You're gonna Sorry. get stomped to death. <laughs> you know what I mean? Don't say that shit. Because really, it's the, race, right, the fucking racist motherfucker saying that anyway. All lives matter. All lives do not matter. Not according to the Bible, they don't. Yeah, that's pretty much what they saying. Like, it's like, damn, like, like y'all can't, niggas can't just, you know what I'm saying? Like, niggas just got murdered many of times again and again and again. Y'all people, when somebody said, well, black, even though that shit going to fuck off, yeah. they still saying, like, well, all life matters. Pretty much, pretty much what they saying is, well, fuck you, everybody matters. Just uh, suck it up, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Yep. They don't, they don't pity, that's what scripture I read earlier, they, uh, they should not pity thee. They're pretty much saying, I don't give a fuck, everybody matters. You're not the only one. Now, actually, dying. that Black Lives Matter thing is a good test. A test. If you Because if somebody reacts to it saying all lives matter, yeah. you know that motherfucker's fucked in the head. Sorry. Shit, Black Lives do not matter. You know There's saying? really no such thing. We got, in America, you got black people and white people. Those yeah. people don't even exist. Ain't no people in the Bible called black people and white people. You got Israelites and Edomites. You know what I'm saying? There's no such people called black people. Show me the scripture where it's called a nation of people the black mm -hmm. You know what I mean? The white -ites. Ain't no such people. So like you said, that's bullshit. Really, when you look, because it's, it's, it's deceiving. And black is as negative. 
reason they call people black people, that's a, that's a negative word. And they call themselves white people. And white, you know what I'm saying? They try to make it like they're pure. Or oh, they gonna say, try to say, I'm white. But you're a white. I get that on my videos all the time. But you're a white. Yeah. You're a race traitor. Oh yeah, bro, we get all them Nazi fucking white supremacists that come in my videos talking about they gonna come and get me first. Is that what coming for you first, Wigger? Sorry. We're coming for you first. Well, Y'all a bunch of pussies, bro. All you people like bitch shooting, all you fucking neo-Nazi faggots. Let me see y'all go out here in the midst of them protests and say that shit y'all talking about. What do you think will happen to y'all? Yeah. Y'all get stomped the fuck out with your supreme ass. Through. You be through, bro. If you go out there and say just one thing, they're going to stomp you to death. Mm -hmm. they would tear you to pieces like that Micah. Like a lion in the midst of the sheep. sheep. Oh, but let me get this. 1 Corinthians 1 and 10. 10. 1 Corinthians 1 and 10. Now I beseech you, brethren, by the name of our Lord, Yahweh Mashiach, that ye all speak the same thing. And that there be no divisions among you, but that you be perfectly joined together in the same mind and the same judgment. Right, like all the protesters, is they all joined together in the same mind, the same judgment? You got the Black Lives Matter, and you got Antifa out there together? That's two totally, totally different ideologies, you know what I mean? But how will we look like teaming up with them? Because they not coming in the name of the Lord. You be out there, say if we want to go hang out and uh, join the protesters, and it's lunchtime, and they bringing out pork, and they eating pork. You know what I mean? They, they go buy lunch for everybody. Like, we'll be back, guys. We're getting lunch. Come back with pepperoni pizzas and shit. You know that will happen. You know what I'm saying? Cause these people, they're not coming in the name, in the spirit of the Lord. That's their own spirit. That's their own shit they came up with. That's not the will of the most high. A bunch of women. Oh, they got, that's a big one. They got women leaders. You know, most of their leaders is women. They up out there yelling and screaming. Take the police! And all high pitch squeak voice. Make your head wanna explode. You know, we got women yelling instructions at men. Fuck out of here, bro. That's way off. That's way against the script. That's out of order. That's way out of order. You shouldn't even put your women in uh, danger like that. They got one, they got their women going against the cops and shit. Fuck out of here, man. You ain't supposed to do that shit. You got pregnant women out there. You got people taking their children out there. Then they crying. Oh, my children got gassed. My children got shot with a wooden bullet. Like, why'd you take your child out there? Y'all ain't too bright. Uh, let me read that again. Now, I beseech you, brethren, by the name of our Lord, Yahweh Shai Mashiach, that ye all speak the same thing, and there be no divisions among you, that be ye be perfectly joined together in the same mind and the same judgment. Oh, you gonna have a, uh, you got a lot of them hotep people out in the protest. You know what I mean? The Kemet people, uh, they saying they're Africans or Egyptians, and they linking up. You know, you know how the uh, the so-called black movements are. They they have Muslims out there with Christians and a uh, hotep, and they all together. That's going against the scriptures. They say you're supposed to all speak the same thing, be in the same mind and the same judgment. Okay, you ain't in the same mind and the same judgment when you holding hands with a Muslim. You holding hands with a, a somebody talking about Kemet, talking about they worship Osiris and Ra. That's not the same mind and the same judgment. You breaking the commandments of the Lord. You know you can't you can't be joining forces with somebody that's openly breaking the commandments of the Lord, breaking the first commandment. That shall have no other gods before me. That's crazy teaming up with somebody like that, ain't it? You gonna team up? And you have a lot of Israelite groups to do that. They'll go do the little sit-downs and debates with uh, Kemet people and Muslims and all that. That's madness. All right, what are we doing? Mm -hmm. I'm chill right here. So. What? What? You got anything else to say? Oh, no, no, no. How long we been going for? What time is it? Going um, for a minute, probably like an hour or something. It's probably two more, two hours. Wait. It's almost two hours. Out. Uh, you, you got anything else to say? Nah. You want to keep going? Okay.
I wish we could get close to the spot. We'll just keep the. We'll go circle. Uh, we'll go circle back around this way. We'll do one loop to loop, then we'll end up with a couple more scriptures. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so bad. Ain't nothing you're going to do succeed unless y'all all coming in the same spirit. That's why us, we all in the same spirit. We ain't going to let nobody come into our camp. I can't even breathe out here. You get that, uh, you get that second, uh, second Corinthians 12? Is it no schism? Schisms? Yeah, either first Corinthians 12 or second Corinthians 12. I think it's probably first. No schisms My in the body. My phone is acting crazy, bro. Sorry. Oh my goodness. Say schism? Mm -hmm. You could probably put one body, something like that. One of the teeth. Oh yeah. That's first Corinthians the twelfth chapter. Uh First Corinthians twelve and twenty-five. That there shall be no schism in the body but that the members should have the same care for one another. Right, so there should be no schisms. And we all gotta be in perfect total agreement and harmony. You know what I'm saying? We gotta believe exactly the same thing. You can't have somebody teaching something different. Mm -hmm. You got one guy, you can't have one guy, even the smallest of things. Like, say, you can't have one guy teaching reincarnation is real, and another guy don't believe in reincarnation. No, we all gotta believe exactly the same thing. You no, know, we teach there's no such thing as hell. Well, you know, a mythological hell. So we can't be having somebody in our camp. You're going to go burn for hell forever. Mm -hmm. We got to be in perfect agreement with some antifas. He's like, he got a pole for flag says Black Lives Matter. That's I thought a, it, That's an Edomite, bro. Yeah, I thought it was a fucking bag. Is that an Edomite? Yeah, most of all of them, all them Edomites. See, so this is my antifa motherfucker, bro. I bet you they're not even from fucking Columbus. You know, a lot of these people, they're not even from Columbus. Yeah. You've never even seen these people before. But you know what I'm saying? Oh, I know you've seen the video downtown Columbus. The Columbus police said they've already identified him. But he was out there paying protesters to, to set up barricades in the right and shit. You see that? Yeah. The white dude with the uh, with the beard, mm -hmm. dressing all black. He just looks suspect as hell. And then you're going to have these stupid-ass white people, you know, calling people, uh, black people thugs and savages. When it's mostly the white people just fucking instigating the, the fire. Yeah, look, look at this yeah. shit. Look at this shit. The, uh, the, like 90% of the motherfuckers, that's just a couple of niggas. Like, like right here, you got three niggas right here. But it's mainly crackers. Like, what the hell? Just like, goddamn. Y'all protesting more than the fucking niggas, it seems. It really is. Shit. And we went down there, you see it was mostly white. I watched all the live streams. It was mostly white people. <laughs> Ah, uh, shit. The looting, mostly Jake. Shit. Yeah. Well, we the Antifa. It's like Jake teamed up with Antifa. So, them, you look at him up, dude, right there. You already got him, didn't you? Yeah. He just looks suspect, don't he? Yeah. He gonna, that dude's an operative. And they going in there late, late at night, to cause problems. Right. He look like he's ready to go into battle. You know what I'm saying? Well, you got one nigga in the midst of it. They probably from the suburbs. Yeah. They ain't from the fucking hood. Yeah, yeah look, you can tell. They, they, ain't from, they ain't from around here, bro. You know what's that? What's that uh, scripture? That this, they should seek this uh, Job 20. They seek the seek the, they, uh, shit. Seek the plea for more. Oh, yeah, that's that Job. That's the yeah. 20th chapter. Oh, let's get, let's get the whole chapter. <laughs> shit. <laughs> Nigga looking hella suspicious. No, they ain't no good. Uh, they coming from these areas too, the little rich looking neighborhoods. All right, see them. Yeah, they, that's they, where the white people live over there. They going over there. Well, actually, I bet most people didn't park in downtown, so they have to walk in. Oh, yeah. Because you don't want to get caught in here when that curfew hits. Sorry. They'll fucking lock you up. I had to, they said cops was purposely cornering people in downtown. And blocking roads and shit to trap them here after curfew so they could arrest them. Sorry. Yeah, like I said, Esau's a hunter. Ain't that some shit a cat would do? You know what I mean? Like, you know, playing with the mouse. He's hunting. He likes to hunt. He likes to catch the prey. That's what that's how you know that that's how you know he's Esau right there. That's a dead giveaway. 
What other man out here likes to hunt so goddamn much? You go into a rich Edomite's house, they got goddamn moose heads and elk heads all over the house and shit. Where are we going? Oh, Job 20 and 4. No one, not this of old, since man was placed on the earth, that the triumphant of the wicked is short, and joy the hypocrite, but for a moment. Right, so the ruin of the, the wicked ruin over us right now. You can see it's coming to an end. All this shit getting burnt down. This is just a sign that this man's kingdom was going down. He lost control of this shit. You know what I'm saying? Through, uh, through his excellency, though his excellency mount up to the heavens and his head reach unto the clouds. He, he, it's like, you know what's fucking crazy? This nigga's doing it his damn self. That's the crazy thing about it. This nigga's a fucking maniac. This nigga's setting all this shit up by himself. He, 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 that shit, that little killer with the knee shit, that shit was set up. This is the, the, he wants the people to fucking yeah, uh, right. riot at this time. A uh, perfect time during the fucking the de pandemic. And while all this shit's happening, they keep making these damn, what they call it, executive orders, whatever. Yeah, yeah. executive orders. That's, that's, this nigga's a fucking maniac, man. Then he got, like we were saying earlier, we got, uh, what they call him, agent, what they call him, agent, agent provocateur. Yeah, over in there fucking spray painting shit. He's like, what the fuck? This guy's fucking crazy. That's why we need to be delivered. He's, awesome. trying to, he's really trying to set us up. You know what I'm saying? And you got dumbass niggas out there in the midst of that shit. You know what I'm saying? Now, they, now it don't matter if you was, like I said, it don't matter if you peaceful or not. You still with them, so, hey, what do they call it? Uh, you guilty by uh, association. association. yeah. You know what I'm saying? Hey. Because it's just like, just like, just like uh, the situation, situation with the police. There's some police that, what, an Asian nigga, he was just standing there. He, didn't, he ain't the one that put his knee on a nigga. But he was just standing there keeping watch and shit. So he was just as guilty as the motherfucker with the knee on his uh, neck. Shit, we would have got look the same bitch. car. Shit. Look at it, all black and shit. She about to tear some shit out, ain't a she? A terrorist. We was, we was terrorists long before y'all was terrorists, right? Yeah. We was, the FBI declared us terrorists like I want, I years to, ago. I want to interview this bitch right quick. I don't know. I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, number, I ain't going to call it trouble. In that backpack. She just looked like she up to no good. Yeah. Dressing all black. Yeah. That's all them answer for people. They dressing all black, black backpacks. Yeah. Well, who knows? Maybe she could just be a regular girl. <laughs> I doubt it. Cause you don't even see none of these. Where are these people coming from? Yeah. Cause there's a certain look to a Columbusite. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, they more of them motherfuckers. Say they going there late. They going out there late. A lot of people start coming in when it gets later because that's when the, all the fun and the good stuff happens. Yeah. Cause it'd be peaceful all through the day when it gets late. That's when the fucking tear gas starts going off and shit. Sorry. I think they gonna try to... Who knows what they gonna do. Yeah, they gonna shut off downtown when it gets to a certain hour. Yeah. I heard they, last night they started trying to get people out here at like 6 or something. Sorry. Or something, I can't remember. But they was, like I said, they was trapping people. Let me read this. Uh, Job 20 and 6. Those excellently mount up to the heavens and his head reached unto the clouds. Oh, they just had a goddamn space launch yesterday. He saw think he got. Oh, you got the, the Space Force. You know what I'm saying? They stole the logo for Space Force from fucking Star Trek. <laughs> <laughs> for real, you see it? Goofy it's ass literally the same. They altered it just a tiny bit. Uh, it's the fucking logo shit. for Star Trek, bro. Y'all gonna have to pay Gene Roddenberry some money for that one. Stupid. You know what I'm saying? He saw it trash. This Still nigga, a Star Trek logo? This nigga played out, cuz. You know how I got the there. triangle with the switch? Let me get it. Let me get it. Let me get the let me get this shit, bro. This nigga whack. He saw it's trash, man. He goes, yeah. And he keep you know, you keep coming up with the old shit, bringing old shit out, playing the same damn movie over and over again. This nigga, he lost his touch. This nigga. Trash. I don't know, it's so bright out here. I don't know if you can get that on camera. But that's the Space Force logo next to the Star Trek logo. It's the exact same fucking thing. Trash. It's like, what the fuck? Y'all unoriginal. How you said Donald Trump's like a little kid, ain't he? Yeah. He come up with these goofy ass names for everything. Yeah. We're in hyperspeed and fucking fuck out of here. 
Let me get back to that scripture. I don't lost it. Knowing not this of oaths, this man was placed on earth that the triumphant and the wicked is short and the joy of the hypocrite for, for, for a moment. So this devil's reign over this earth, this reign and terror of the earth, this shit almost over. Though his excellency mount to the heavens and his head reach unto the clouds, yet he shall perish forever like his own dung. They which have seen him shall say, where is he? So they say that Esau, he's going to perish like a pile of shit. He's getting flushed down the toilet. You know what I'm saying? America right now is getting, it was what do you call it, circling the drain. Mm -hmm. You know, when you, you take that big shit, and you're like, ah, you take the big shit. It felt so good, and you just flush that motherfucker, and then that turd goes away. Mm -hmm. You don't save the shit, you flush it. That's why America's liking unto a pile of shit. A pile of shit is not something you cherish and try to preserve. Well, maybe some of these fucking heathens, they might try to preserve a turd. Mm -hmm. Turd preservers. He shall fly away as a dream and shall not be found. He shall be chased away as a vision of the night. Thy also which saw him shall see him no more, neither shall his place any more behold him. His children, this is what you was talking about. His children shall seek to please the poor, and his hand shall restore their goods. Mm -hmm. That's like you got a lot of the people on the left, like the radical left wingers. Mm -hmm. They trying to uh they, they, like you got Edomites out there protesting with Black Lives Matter. And they accepting them. They're like, Black Lives Matter. Fucking Edomites. You know what I'm saying? Because they're trying to please the poor. They see that this shit's going down too. They don't want, they don't want to get stomped out. <laughs> uh, where was we at? Uh, his children shall seek to please the poor. His hand shall restore their goods. And his bones are full of the sins of his youth, which shall lie down with him in the dust. Because Esau has sinned against Israel since the days of his youth. Going all the way to back when Israel uh, was Israel was coming out of the, uh, Egypt, you know, through the Exodus. Right, Esau wouldn't give a safe passage. He blocked away. And the Lord put a, cur a, a infinite curse on him right then and there. Just like in Deuteronomy, he said, we're going to blot out the remembrance of Amalek from under the heavens or something like that. This is a nice one right there. Mm -hmm. Riding that bike. <laughs> mm -hmm. Shit, look at these niggas, woman. Huh? Look at these damn niggas, woman. Oh, fuck. He said, the wickedness be sweet in his mouth. Actually, I just read that. His bones are full of the sins of his youth, which shall lie down with him in the dust. The wickedness be sweet in his mouth, though he hide it under his tongue, though he spare it and forsake it not, but keep it still within his mouth. I mean, that's how Esau is. He got wickedness and sweet in his devil's mouth. Mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Do it, hide it or something like that? Uh, though yeah. wickedness be sweet in his mouth, though he hide it under his tongue. Mm -hmm. Right, because when is the... Like the perfect example of that coronavirus shit, bro. Like DeWine, Governor DeWine and Amy Acton, that bitch got on TV. We're here to help you. We're here to keep you safe. When they're setting you up to microchip you and shit. And they're doing it out of safety, you know, and love. They love it. They want to keep the community safe. They want to keep the elderly safe. They want to keep the children safe. And really, they just want to microchip you and control you. That's all they want to do. They, but they say it's so, so sweet and loving. They use loving, sweet words. You gotta watch out for a motherfucker always talking them loving, sweet words. Okay, that's something you gotta be wary of. Cause they lying. Is that shit still going? Yeah. Though wickedness be sweet in his mouth, though he hide it under his tongue. Though he spare it and forsake it not, but keep it still within his mouth. Yet his meat and his bowels is turned. It is the gall of ass within him. What's that? Uh, they be coming from over there. Yeah, I think they park in them neighborhoods and cross the bridge or something. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. You don't want to get caught out here. Right. <laughs> you get your car stuck over here, Shit. you ain't getting it back. Shit. Shit, they might jump on that bitch and burn it. He got Jake burning just random cars. Oh, you see J.R. Smith, the yeah. basketball player from the Cavs? You seen that? Mm -hmm. He caught the dude busting his windows off, bro. He beat the brakes off of him. That's what you get, man. You fucking with people's shit, bro. You deserve to get your ass beat for that. Mm -hmm. 
And that's actually the punishment when you for stealing. You're supposed to get some slashes, some whips. You gotta get your ass beat for that, bro. Stealing people's shit, breaking people's property. You know what I'm saying? You just, I mean, I ain't shedding a tear over it or nothing. Don't get me wrong. I think it's beautiful at the end of the day. It's all prophecy is what it is. But, man, you break my shit, you might get your ass beat. You know what I mean? Your boy J.R. Smith, bro. That's how show you your boy Israelite in being. And then he was talking shit after he beat his ass. I beat that motherfucker's ass. Sorry. Broke my window. He said he didn't know who he was fucking with. Sorry. Yeah, that's Jake. You don't know who you fucking with. Yeah. Jake like to boast. Uh, yet his meat and his bowels is turned as the gall of ass within him. Gall of ass, that's the poison of a snake, right? Because we dealing with this, this devil is a snake. He's that same serpent. It was in the Garden of Eden. It's this devil that's ruling over us to this day. Because that serpent in the garden was a man. It was an evil man. It's the same spirit that was in Cain. That's the same, because the same spirit that's in Esau. You smell, you smell that beautiful cindering. Just the, the smell of burning wood. They just gonna catch Morrison on fire tonight. That shit is through, bro. Get another shot on that shit. Look, they over there hosing it right now. That shit is fucking through. Bro, they just built this building. They just finished it. Like, they literally just finished this, like, a, like you know, probably in the last month or so. They just finished building it. And then that shit went, oh, that's the scripture. Uh, he shall build, but I will throw down. Mm -hmm. That's in Malachi, the first mm -hmm. chapter. I'm going to get that next. I'm going to get that right now. I already got the point we wanted in Job. Yeah, one bar left. Huh? But one bar left. All right, I'm gonna get this Malachi right quick. I was typing in first Malachi, like this. Sorry. That's the hidden, the, the lost book of Malachi. You got 12. Oh, seconds? Nah, 12, come on. Huh? 12, please, boys. Oh, 12. Popos. Jake's. I ain't worried about them. I actually might be worried about them. They out here making moves and shit. They ready to fuck anybody up. Yeah, these niggas come out the gut. I right, said, I gut. Malachi. <laughs> you yell, fuck 12. Like, <laughs> so you instigating shit, then. That's not moving. That's not being smart in your movements either. Fuck 12 and all that. Yeah. You got to know how to operate. Like, a, like a, you got to know how to be smooth with your shit, man. You how to be tactful. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. A lot of people ain't smooth with this shit. Mm -hmm. Oh, what's the other scripture too? Agree with thine adversary quickly. But we're not worried about the devil. We're not out here to save the devil. We're worried about the elected Israel. We're not worried, you know what I mean? That's why it's so beautiful when this Rona shit going on. Even right now, how we can't really go downtown. It's mainly, I don't mean mainly focus on the elect. It's pretty much like fuck everybody. Well, you know, of course, we're still teaching people whatever here and there. But now we mainly focus on the elect. We ain't really worrying about it. Everybody else is going crazy and rioting, blowing shit up. We are building up I mean, house of Israel. Because we really can't go to our, ma our old teaching spots. I mean, we can. But what, we're going to go out and stay in some tear gas, teach the Bible. We're going to give you a lesson, a Bible lesson in the middle of chaos. Yeah. Niggas going to be yelling. You can't hear Yeah, you can't even going to hear shit. Yeah, right. That's they, what I was going to probably beat our ass. Shit. Yeah, they'd come against us because we're going to tell them they're going to be put to death if they don't repent. They're going to mm -hmm. be destroyed. Are we supposed to tell people to repent of your sins? That's the main thing. We, ain't that the main thing we're supposed to teach? He said, go go preach you the kingdom of heaven's at hand. You know, and tell telling people the, that the kingdom of heaven's at hand, you got to repent of your sins. We suppose, these people ain't trying to hear repent. They ain't trying to stop eating pork. They'll kill us over that. If we tell them a man, uh, I mean, a woman can't be a leader, they, they'll kill you over that. Mm -hmm. If you call a woman a stomp you out. Oh, you call my beautiful queen a bitch? Just anything like that would set these fools off, bro. Cause they simple. And they're demons, really. And most of these people is demons. These, right, the more you think about it, the more you think about it. Shit, a lot of them protesters, bro. A lot of them is demons. All of them must have demons. They just out there looking for trouble. Y'all would never had no kind of righteous stance on nothing in your life until this happened. I have loved you, uh, Malachi 101. The burden of the word of Yahweh to Israel by Malachi. I have loved you, saith Yahweh. 
Yet ye say, Wherein hast thou loved us? Was not Esau Jacob's brother? Say if Yahweh, yet I loved Jacob, and I hated Esau, and laid his mountains and heritage waste for the dragons of the wilderness. Oh, he's laying this shit waste right now again, right? He's gonna lay it totally waste. But uh, what was I saying? So the Lord, oh, all lives do not matter. Now all lives matter, so you know that's trash. Yeah, Esau's life don't matter. The most I say he hated Esau. But look, where Edom said, hey, Red, give that shit on camera over here that's smoldering. Smoke it. Get that, zoom in on that son of a bitch. That's a good scripture for this one. Where Edom says, we are impoverished, but we will return and build the desolate places. Thus saith uh, the Lord of hosts, Yahweh of hosts. They shall build, but I will throw down. And they shall call them the border of wickedness, and the people against whom Yahweh had the indignation forever. And the nation. So the Most High hates the Edomites forever. Thank you, pretty. They don't matter. Mm. Uh -huh. Take the one on the right. <laughs> you got it. You got uh, it. I'll get hit. You get, you get, you get both. No oh, bad. damn. Well, hey, thanks, hey, man. I got get both. See, <laughs> that's, that's, that's real brotherly <laughs> love right there. That's looking out for Oh, shit. Uh, I got the one in the car though, and Preston just see a little beautiful thing like that. But yeah, the one that that's like getting on one of the mechanical bulls at the yeah, bar. Oh, Did that just toss you right off that yeah, motherfucker? Yeah, that's too much for me. <laughs> you're too much. Oh shit. That's I like can't breathe under that. You know what I'm saying? He said I can't breathe. Shorty. He be talking about I can't breathe. That's messed up. <laughs> she gonna, you gonna let her face at you? <laughs> oh, that's gross. Ooh. They got the videos, bro. I seen the porn. Like, bro, I ain't never watched porn. Bro. Oh god. <laughs> People get mad. Oh, y'all teaching the Bible. Uh, everybody watches porn. Stop lying. Stop being liars. People get on the couch. I don't watch porn. I seen the fa <laughs> This is some nasty shit, bro. That shit on fire, bro. Y'all working overtime. Y'all earning that money. No more sitting around playing video games all day. Them niggas keep coming. They need to, they need to go get that Walmart in Whitehall. Get that much. Burn that bitch down. With all the door Nazis they got up in there. Mm, we burn all that shit down. Everything. And hey, that's pretty much the scripture I want to get. We probably want to end it. Yeah, bro. That's pretty much it. And I'm fucking thirsty as hell, bro. Yeah, me too. Yeah, I was you need about... extra water? Yeah, probably, yeah. You mean closest? Mm. Uh, yeah, we just give them a, a fair.